Okay, just a quick melee. Another Unseen Elder. Quite surprising. Actually, this deck is uh, rising a little bit. Huh. I can play my own spear. What do you think about that? Like, of course, I like The Witcher from movies. I always a little bit like more Star Trek. At least when I gave it a sh chance uh, than Star Wars. But I do like Star Wars. However, Star Wars kind of changed. Huh. So we can play this and get a 4 out of it. And seems like that's the best death fish we can get. Death fish value from Unseen Elder. But piking that is not that good at. I don't know. Maybe that's not what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get all professional. Which, uh, which universes would you recommend? I don't, for example, what I'm not a huge fan of, although I watch it sometimes. Well, what watch it usually is the, the comic book universes. I'm just like, okay, fine. But I tend to prefer the, the atmosphere in games, sometimes books. However, I have to admit, I tend to be pretty lazy when it uh, comes to uh, reading books. I tend to enjoy books. But also, I don't really like to put in the effort of reading the books. I don't know. I'm the worst. I tend to get a lot more into playing games. I'm not saying like, for example, like Fortnite necessarily, but like RPGs, you know, just like role-playing, you hear the story, you're just changing your decision. It just feels a lot more involved than necessarily reading a really good story from a book. Was siding with Caesar's Legion in New Vegas a good idea? Uh, I didn't side with them. I would say no. <laughs> I think I sided with the NCR, ultimately. Uh, the thing is, what I like to play usually... Okay, let's just enter. I like to play, or at least I tend to play characters that range from true neutral to chaotic neutral. So that's kind of me, me. I'm just like having fun. Hmm. Consume one ally. Uh, sometimes I flex my uh, preferred character. Well, the, the the character personality. You cited the yes man. You cited the robot who always said yes. Hmm. <laughs> sure. Do you guys like to play as uh, the goody tooch? Uh, wow. I'm not even sure about how that expression goes. Goody two shoes or something like that. Just just a good guy in the car in, in the RPGs. Because I tend to really dislike playing as, as evil. I try to play, for example, I try to play evil in some some games. I tried to play evil in the first Kotor, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I literally couldn't do it. I couldn't be evil to my companions. I could be somewhat evil toward those who are... I don't know. So, if it just comes to like robbing some dudes, 
give me your money. So I can do that. But if it just comes to like uh, being addicted to my companions, I can't do it. It literally cannot be done. Do we just pass here? I don't know what to do. He's in the lead by 11 points. I can probably swap this Cyclops for something less valuable. Oh. Oh, yeah, sure. We managed to. Something more more valuable, hopefully. That's That's what I should have said. Yeah, that's good. That's that's really good. But yeah, we just gotta pass now. There's not much we can do here. Teasing your companion is always fun. But still in Kotor. Oh my god. Sometimes I play... Well, I tend to like 50-50 on like female and male characters, but I... Sometimes just uh, look it up beforehand if uh, the companions are just gonna act differently around me. Because I think it was KOTOR 2 that I had some... I was playing a female character. Who, who was he called? What was his name? Disciple? Anyway, there was some loser guy who was hitting on me non-stop. And it got annoying fast. Holy crap, man. Take a hint. Not much left of that word. Anyway, let's go with that. Good guy, Adam. I, well, I can't. I can't be evil. What I well, I can be uh, can be evil to those who I I don't know in RPGs. That's usually not not too uh, hard to do for me. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with this Imperial Manticore. Or we can consume two allies. That could be interesting. I just end turn. Which of tomorrow's new leaders are you gonna test out first? Probably monsters. Because I'm just a monsters main usually. Oh, yeah, I forgot to add. I'm playing female. I'm, I'm siding with Caesar. You bastard. A word once given will never break. How could you do it? But yeah, playing you, Vegas. Amazing. I actually want to play New Vegas. I want to get back to New Vegas a little bit because I played it once and I loved it. And I so thirst for like games like that. Just really amazing games. Like proper RPGs. And uh, Obsidian is basically the perfect studio. They, they just like... They know how to make awesome games. Actually... We can get some good value here from the Manticore. And they're gonna release another game. I basically played... Did I play all their games? I think I didn't play one of their games, but I tend to remedy that as well. I played their, I played their uh, latest games. That was uh, Pillars of Attorney. Fucking awesome. I just love those games. I really do. Pillars of Eternity, Pillars of Eternity 2 and Tyranny. So amazing. 
But they were a little bit different than uh than than like what you can expect from like Fallout. Fallout was a bit more action based, more about exploration, and I suppose Obsidian, if if it's left to make its own franchises, it tends to focus on more on characters and storytelling. Like not like they did a bad job with Fallout New Vegas by any means. Like they, they just make awesome games. Uh, by the way, it's if it's not obvious, Obsidian fanboy over here. Fallout 76. Well, that was not their uh, sin. Just get out the Frightener guy. We need to play him. Does he have some Manticore saved up? I think he does, yeah, yeah. He has a Manticore saved up. Also, I, oh, yeah. Can't wait for Outer Worlds. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's really good. Yeah, those are good cards. Can we get better than that? I don't want the Spear. I kind of like the Egg. But that could be bad. Egg would be better, but I think it's just a little bit too risky. <laughs> yeah, expected that. There you go. I need to be careful about the consumes. Will I get completely destroyed now? If I play Bruce, we just lose. Should I just delete Bruce? <laughs> no! If it said consume up to two allied units, no flipping problem. This is so bad. So bad. If I play Weavis, we buff him, no problem. He plays a unit. Then we play Bruis, so bad. Mantigur is gonna kill us. What? If I play... No matter what I do, I, I'm just gonna assume... No, no, no. We just we just dead, right? Manticore straight up is gonna kill us. Okay guys, next level strats. Do we delete Bruce? So let's see what he has. He played Bruce and he played Karen. So the only way to trigger Imperial Manticore is a Cyclops. In which case we just straight up lose the game. If he has a Cyclops, do we play it or do we trash it? You guys decide. I can't make a decision. Decide fast. 
Does he have another drown Drowner? Hey, Repelmer. I don't know. I'm thinking we gotta this. We're just gonna trash it. Why not? Let's get this over with. It was still a good call, because he would have reset my unit, and we just lose. GG. Okay. Uh, not that. Ancient Foglet. Yeah, you didn't draw Cyclops. If you had Cyclops, I was playing around, around Cyclops. So if you had Cyclops, then I can win. But if I play my my Brewers there, we just lose. So deleting Brewers was the choice I had to go with, which is a bit silly. I don't have a Drowner. That's actually pretty strong, so I might just delete that. I'm not gonna keep it for later, because that unit is gonna get strong and we need to win round one. Yeah, it was a good choice. So... Let's just play the Rider. We can play Cyclops next. And whatever he plays next, we can just uh, blow up the Manticore. And we're good. He shouldn't play. Yeah. He shouldn't play the Tactical Advantage. Good call. Manticore is really good. Getting to work. Repair motor. What are you up to these days? Do you still like monsters? Did you take a break just as me? I don't usually. Well, I. Yeah, I don't 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 really talk to other content creators that much, or streamers. I'm curious. A lot of people left, and I'm really glad to see you still around and. Uh, Interesting in Gwent. I wonder if the like the hot shots, the big names are gonna return at, at one point after Artifact dies, because that's just basically a matter of time. Is it gonna die? I don't know. It kinda looks like it. Well it's dying in a way. But I suppose it kinda matters on uh whether they end up releasing it free to play and anytime soon. This will be quick and painful. Do you guys play Artifact? Or would you guys play it if it was free to play? Some vent, Magic the Gathering. Yeah, I know. It, it really worked out for Merchant. I, I know that. M MTG is... It's a good game. But it's also a pricey game. So that's, that's my number one criticism about that game. Hmm. Cookies and Mogwai? Um, isn't Mogwai playing Artifact? I'm not really following the game myself. So... It's gonna boost by one, so we technically have to do uh, six, and this is a seven. I 
I might also want to play... Uh... Wait, what? If we got out Vercat, that would be pretty interesting. Yeah, let's just go Naglefar, because it's unlikely that I'm going to play next turn. Yeah, we're doing Bearcat in the back. Whatever, let's go with that. So I now have a last say. I have crazy amount of consumes now. I don't need Cyclops. Let's say we don't need Asian Foglet. Guard Professional, definitely good. Master Crafted Spear is uh, actually pretty useful last round. Mogwike Pit Artifact for MTG. It did? Didn't he say it like 10 seconds ago that Gwent, my love, I'm abandoning you for my true love! Artifact! But then he abandoned the artifact as well. Do you guys follow MTG? Do you guys like MTG? Should I do MTG instead? I have a pretty budget blue deck and you guys can cry with me about how pathetically uh, broke I am in MTG. It actually performs pretty well. It, it actually performs really, really well. Your attention, please. I no. shall now speak. <laughs> That's so annoying. But it's not... Not the most... Powerful deck out there. It's just an aggro deck, basically. I made an aggro deck in uh, in uh, Magic, and it works pretty okay. Unless the opponents are just like spamming uh, board control nonstop. Board control effects. Yeah, that's really good. So that's all that fish. This is that fish. I think I'm just gonna keep it. Yeah, let's we'll just keep it and see what we can do with this. I have more consume, but we don't have to use Brewers to consume three units. I think we're just gonna consume one unit. We have four death fish units. Let's get the stick out. Start stabbing. At last. I don't like the look of that. Do you guys know what he what he tends with that Avalak? I can blow it up. But the problem is, even if I blow up Avalak, what is he planning? Guys, this is the time to uh, help out. What is he planning with that Avalak? I have some cards from 5th and 6th edition. Tempest and Urza Saga on my shelf with MTG's Money Sink. Just sell the cards! Can you just like... I don't know, <laughs> I don't know those cards. But... Yeah. I don't think he has big units. So I'm just gonna burn that. It's 10 points. Kinda okay. You've talked enough. Yeah, Siri Dash. Yeah. 
So this guy's like the cheese king. I should play the Rot Fiend. Triggered Rot Fiend. Hope to hit something good. Why? I don't have time to blow that up. So what we have to do... Okay. We got a plan. I, I need to consume Rot Fiend right now. Yeah, we can't stop the first one. But we can stop the one in the back, possibly. Yeah, let's just go Brewers. Do we just go Brewers? Thing is, I need to play all the cards. Yeah, yeah, we don't, we don't need to do that. We just hit that. Yeah, we just gotta play Vispus next turn. And we gotta Vivus last. Uh, that's good enough. I was somehow obsessed with uh, killing uh, Siri Dash in one move. Which is just dumb. Now it looks like that's how we gotta do it. Reveal a random card. Boost an ally by two. We can't stop that. Hit that. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. So he can expect the uh, Vispus now. But he can also get lucky and boost when will you Siri. So this guy is basically called Card Advantage Cheese Master. Cameos? That name is somehow familiar to me. We can't do anything with Siri Dash. <laughs> Cheese Lord. <laughs> Can't stop Siri Dash. I can blow up Isabel of Hag. That's the only thing I can do. I think I I think we have to do it. Let's go with that. Why do I have a feeling that we're gonna lose this game? Who is to die? Yeah, 
I really hope he has some cheesy uh, way to even... Why did he play Isabel of Hag? He could have played it later. He could have had three card advantage on me. What a bloody beginner. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Game over. We didn't have enough... Uh, yeah, that's, that's the card advantage cheese right there. That's what I'd like to see truce back in the game. Because some cards are just like stupidly powerful. Like Isabel of Hag, Rottasur, they're just like ridiculously powerful. If you have card advantage. I hope he plays his last card. But no, it's a secret. I do have more aggressive decks than this, so... But yeah, he got us good. GG cameos. What a bastard. It's coin tosser. Anyway, GG.